Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to insert a user's name to a text block with MemberStack. Hack 31 to 36 is focused exclusively on hacks with MemberStack. MemberStack is the number one way to create membership-based sites on your Webflow site. And in this hack, we are going to focus on personalization for the logged in user. When a user has an account, they're going to set their name, and then we are going to display that name anywhere on the site. Maybe in the nav to say, hey, name, maybe on the account page, maybe on every single page in the header, whatever you want. We're gonna get that name, save it metadata, and use it later on. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we see two forms on the page. One form is going to be to sign up, make our member stack account. The other form is going to be setting our name. You may be thinking, why don't we just ask for the name when they are creating the account? Well, when we are accessing the metadata from member stack, we can't set that metadata until they're a logged in user. So if we put the name in here and create a test account, we are not able to capture that correctly with member stack metadata. So first we are going to create our test account before we set our name and we will now go and sign up. We'll be logged in. We are part of the member stack setup. Cool. There we go. We're logged in. We are ready to go. Default text, yo, what's up? Let's set our name to get a little bit more personal here. So I'm going to go and type my name. And when I go and set it, it is going to update that text string down there, pulling from MetaStack, meta data from MemberStack. We are not holding this in cookies. We are not just updating this live on the page with a simple script to update the text. We are pulling it from MemberStack. And now let me go and reload this page, make sure that we are still pulling the correct information. Awesome. You'll see that the existing text does flash. We're not able to pull that information instantly. It's pretty quick, but it's not instantly. A way that you can get around this is to not have a full text string in there. We'll get to that inside structure. Just have a, a space or a dash or just set a slight delay when it loads. Go on this text string, set a little bit of a delay, and you'll see that it loads as if it is loading live on the page. Okay, and before we get into structure, let's just change our name here to make sure we can update the name as a user. Great, thanks Bob Johnson. Let's go and reload and we are pulling the new name inside metadata. All right, let's get inside designer. Let's see how this works. We're in designer. We are going to look at our forms. We're gonna look at some classes and we're going to explain the difference between the two forms. This form is a member stack signup form. There is nothing unique that we are doing here with JavaScript. We don't care about the classes on here. We are using normal member stack data attributes. Nothing is different here. This can also be on a different page than the set your name form. Now the set your name form, we have a unique class on the button. And this unique class is hack 33 update name. You can see on this button, we do not have that add on class on this one. We do on click of this button. We are going to set the name. We have a ID set to our form input that accepts the name that's hack 33 name. And then we have a class on this personalized message. And this class is hack 33 personalized text. Now in the live example, we saw that this was flashing just a little bit. Something that I like to do is create a blank space here. Sometimes that's hard to grab. You can set a dash, um, whatever you want. And another way around that flash is to set 
some type of interaction, just a quick page load that loads it in after 0.3 seconds, 0.2 seconds, and it will look just fine. Okay, that is it for structure. A lot of the action here is going to happen inside custom code. Before we get into custom code, let's just make it clear that the sign up form and set your name form is not something that needs to be on the same page and probably would look quite weird if you were to show two different forms like this. On lottieflow.com, we have our sign up form in a modal and we have the set your name field on the account page. So they go to account, they're able to set, they're able to access that page once they're a user and then they're able to set their name on this one liner form. All right, let's get into JavaScript, see how this works. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our member stack script and the script that is customizing the name on the page. Remember, you must use your member stack script up here, not just copy paste from this page. It's very important you're using your setup. Let's get into the script. There's two parts of it. One part is meant for site settings. This is the first part. Let's call it the site settings part. This is so you can access the name on all pages of the build. On Lottie Flow, on the top right, when you set your name, it says, hey, name, and we are putting this in site settings so every page can greet the user. This bottom part, part two, is meant to be put on the page that is setting the name. This could be the, the account page, it could be probably the account page where the user is typing in their name and setting it and saving it in metadata. It happens that it is on the same page in this hacks build, so they are in the same script. All right, let's get into this, see how it is working. On member stack ready, we are going to run an if statement, and it's going to say if the user, if the member is logged in, we are going to get the metadata object and then run another if statement that says if their first name is set in metadata, we're going to go and start personalizing that text with their name. It's saying we're targeting hack 33 personalized text. We're gonna change the text of that to was up name exclamation point. That's if they have a name set in metadata. At this point, the name has already been set or not set. We're in site settings. And if it's not set, we move to the else. Else, if no member's first name is saved in metadata, we're going to update that same text with something standard. Yo, what's up? And we can set a different type of message here. Great, so this is every page checking if the first name is in there, entering one set of text or another set of text. Great. Part two, if you're breaking these up to two different pages, make sure you are wrapping the second part inside member stack on ready. We cannot just start right here with this function. So if I were to break it up, I would go and copy this, make sure it's wrapped correctly. We put it here to also make sure we're running this within member stack. All right, part two, this is on the page that the name is being set. And what we're going to do is target the button of the name form. So we have the hack button, hack 33 update name. And on click of that button, we're gonna run a function First, we're going to prevent default, which is going to prevent the form from being submitted. We don't want this form submission to go through. That's not the point of this. It's just to accept the name. So stop submission and then get into saving it into metadata. We're going to get the value, the value of the hack 33 name ID, which is the input field. And we're going to set that as a variable called val. If there is a value entered into val, we are going to do this. If they enter something inside the name field, we're gonna do this. If they don't enter something inside the name field, we're going to do this. Let's say someone just goes in and presses the button. We don't want it to be totally blank. Uh, we are telling 
we are setting it to blank manually here. Uh, we're going to clear that username field so that it, we recognize it as nothing entered. But let's get into the important part, the first part of the if statement. If there is an entered value, we are going to update the text of hack33 personalized text. We're gonna change that text to thanks val exclamation point. Nice, and the val is the information that is entered into the input field. We're also going to save it in metadata. This is very important. We are going to take that value, set it as the first name inside member stack so we can access it later on. And we are making sure that this is accessible back up here. So when we go on another page, when we reload, this is going to be accessible moving forward. And that is how you set a name, save it in metadata, and then access it later on on other pages. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.